can't get toilet roll because of you. <laughs> really? No. You can okay. get in the shower, they can't. So get off. It's actually no. We may be a few months removed from when this was one of the hottest commodities in the world, but let me tell you, the vast different types of reactions you're about to see in this video were completely unexpected. Enjoy it. And it seems like in Canada, there's a big shortage of toilet paper. So I made it my mission to bring this stack of toilet paper from South Africa through Europe all the way to Canada. And once there, I want to distribute it to people in need. So fingers crossed they let me through the airport because, I mean, it'd be great to help out some elderly people with some toilet paper. Step one, got the toilet paper to the airport. Um, I've been getting a lot of looks from people and security, so hopefully we can go through. I think the biggest challenge coming up is gonna be if these gate agents behind me here will let me go through. Security should be okay, it's just toilet paper, and then the flight people, unless while I'm sleeping on my 12-hour flight to London, someone jacks the, the toilet paper. I hope not, though. There's gonna be a lot of sad Canadians if that happens. So yeah, wish me luck. I'm uh, 100 quid though, that is tempting. Yeah, I just got offered 100 quid for my loo roll. <laughs> is that a photo going up on your Instagram story? <laughs> okay, and now I'm Instagram story famous too. Perfect. Desperate times, guys. <laughs> so far, the plan is going a little bit better than expected. I've got people taking photos of me. I feel like I should have put like at Michael Makes Films on this loo roll or something like that because I'm already in like five Instagram stories and I've been here for two minutes. Hello? Just checking in. She was just really impressed that I'm, I'm bringing Lural. <laughs> so that girl just walked by me and I think I heard that she's like, oh, that guy's just gonna sell everything. So I guess you've got the entrepreneurship there, which is a good factor. But I guess the biggest takeaway is that I made it through stage one, which is the check-in. I wasn't quite sure. Now security, I feel like security should go pretty well. I mean, there's nothing metal in here. It's toilet paper. So I mean, what could they stop me for? Stage two, can I make it through security? There it goes! And just like that, I'm through security. <laughs> the toilet paper made it. It's funny, when I was going through, the guy said, the security agent was like, uh, I don't have any more at my house. Can I have one roll? I was like, I'm so sorry, man. I gotta take these to Canada. Now, let's see if we can make it through the airplane. This is the reality of traveling now. So stage one of the plan is working, but if you see, oh, oh, how do I do this? If you see people here laughing, the, uh, I'm getting a lot of laughs and a lot of weird looks, but I mean, it's worth it for Lural. Although I have also been threatened that people are gonna steal it while I'm on the airplane. Are you stopping off in England? Yeah, stopping off in the UK. I, I don't know if it's gonna go that far, mate. You might need it in England. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Like I've, I've had a few people say that they might take it while I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm like, that is not good. <laughs> But crazy about the toilet roll. Yeah. Yesterday, the weekend. Yeah. They were cleaning the shelves. <laughs> Had an interesting development. Tonight is actually the last night. All the other flights from the rest of this week, they canceled them because the president is shutting down the borders. So we are lucky by one day we are making this to London. It's so funny because I'm just walking through the airport. Just everywhere people are laughing at me because I'm holding a giant 18 pack of toilet paper. Yeah. I took some of you with that. I was like, okay, so I got two, two extra rules. <laughs> We're just supposed to get out, find our gate. We go. Sweet. <laughs> well, you might not die. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. No, I figured eight. It's going to be the most popular guy on the park. I think so. People have already threatened to steal some. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? Oh, good, how are you? Doing? Stocked up. Yeah, I gotta be stocked up. I heard there it's the apocalypse, Breathing. guys. You gotta be ready, yeah. It's you, these older people can't get toilet roll because of you. <laughs> really? No. You can absolutely. get in a shower, they can't. Get off. It's actually, no. I'm going to We're a nursing home. No. I'm going to a nursing home in Canada. Believe you. That's two things that I never expected to happen a flight attendant getting super mad <laughs> that I was holding a bunch of toilet paper. But also, that I am bringing toilet paper onto an airplane and putting it into an overhead bin. I didn't think this would ever be my life. I need to get a little bit concerned because there's lots of prying eyes saying they might go after the toilet paper, so I might have to mid-flight hide it between my feet here, so only time will tell. We're in the air now and I've got the toilet paper in the bin, but I never thought I'd be like actually scared. People have said they're gonna take it. So 12 hours later, we have made it. Happy to report it is still all there. So now I've got to kill about nine hours in London. Now one thing that surprised me about this flight is in Asia absolutely everyone has a mask on but here nearly almost nobody had a mask on. 
like one of two from one side of the world to the other. So I just made it through my final security line here in Heathrow and uh, the, the security guards behind me were like, oh my god, look, that passenger has toilet paper, the passenger has toilet paper. And I can confirm that I am the first person to ever bring toilet paper through the airport in Heathrow. So I mean, that is at least, at the very least, a life accomplishment. The, those are the good reactions. <laughs> I know, and it's just gonna go missing. I hope so, it's Africa's finest. Do you not go to sleep on the aircraft, you'll wake up the Oh, I was scared, I just had a 12 hour flight and people threatened to take it. I know, right? This is like the first time that uh, toilet paper has gone through. It's so funny how incidences like this can bring people together. It's just so interesting because security personnel are usually so, so strict and cut off and they're trained to be that way but they were laughing around, joking around with me. I've never seen that. I feel like I made all their days. And it's so funny how just bringing toilet paper around the world is like lighting up. And now these once like really authoritative security people are laughing and joking around with you. So it was, it was really cool to see that. Overall though, the airport is, um, it's looking pretty empty right now. Um, most of the shops and restaurants are, uh, are pretty empty. So uh, definitely you can see the impact of the coronavirus everywhere. The toilet paper and I have made it successfully to the lounge. It is breakfast time. Mobile command center is set up. Fortunately, I travel a lot, so I have adapters for every country. Got the laptop, We're gonna edit in a minute. Well, I've now been in the lounge for about seven hours. I read that Tom Hanks also got the coronavirus, and when Tom Hanks was sitting for a really long time in his cave, he made a little pal. So I will make my very own Wilson. <laughs> Wilson! Wilson! And just like that, Wilson and I, we survived our nine hour layover in Heathrow. I've had a couple people threaten to take some, but no one followed through on it, so that's kind of nice. They just made a pretty unexpected announcement there. I never thought I'd hear a day where literally only Canadians were allowed to go into Canada. Time to get some weird looks. Hey there. He's stuck up. Yeah, I, I saw how like Canadians were going crazy over toilet paper and I was in Africa and like none of the madness hit yet. Uh, where did you buy this from? Uh, from South Africa, uh, Woolworths. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, I figured since uh, all like the old folks homes are running out, it'd be funny to bring some from South Africa and give it to them. He hasn't taken the UK stock, it's from South Africa, so it's okay. Yeah. So have a good <laughs> Thanks. But she was saying, she, she legit double checked to make sure it was from South Africa. She, she said they wouldn't have been very impressed if uh, I had taken some of their UK Lou roll because they're out here. You know, there's a huge surplus of those things in Ottawa now and every other. Is there? Going can. Of course there are. Everybody bought up and they restocked the stock. Have heard of newspapers? For me? For anybody. Yes. I thought you were attempting to do make a profit. Hey, uh, hello. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, it's uh, right there. Yeah, 22F. Yeah, that's great. Cool. Got it. Uh, across. You got your loo roll. Yeah, br bringing oh it from bringing it from Africa to Canada though. I didn't take it from the UK. Don't what you worry. We looked. I know, man. So I actually had one guy in the terminal offer me fifty quid for this. It was nuts. You take it toilet, Thought it'd be entertaining. There we go. Twenty-two hours later, and in its last resting place before making it to Canada. The bathrooms, nothing have changed. I just wanted to see if they had any extra hand sanitizer in here, but that is it. Uh, I love how they had to tell us earlier not to steal any of the soap there, but that's all good. Looks pretty clean. And uh, yeah, I guess back to my seat. And just like that, 30 hours later from Africa, we have brought <laughs> the loo roll all the way. And now it's just time to clear customs, but <laughs> um, my parents have not seen this, so we'll get to see their reaction because they're picking me up from the airport. And uh, it should be a little ridiculous, so stay tuned to that. Made it through, and now it's going to be fun to see Mum's reaction on the toilet paper front. <laughs> oh Look what I brought from Africa! <laughs> you did it! You did it! You brought that from Africa! You're crazy! You know you've done well when even your mom calls you crazy for taking toilet paper around the world. but. 
this is just half the mission complete. So we got it here to Canada, which I'm still shocked by. But now though, we have to come up with a cool way to give it to actually people in need, because surprisingly, all the toilet paper is like off the shelves here. So we'll come up with a creative way to give it people, and then we'll take it up here in a couple days. Okay, now fast forward from two weeks to when you last saw me and so much has changed. I had to stay 14 days in quarantine, I couldn't leave my house and I was trying to think of ways that I could give this out like I was saying, a nursing home or going to a Walmart parking lot and handing it out there. But the rules in Canada just don't allow anything like that. So I was trying to think, after doing this epic adventure of carrying toilet paper all over the world, I have to do something cool. And there's a guy playing music behind me and people are walking and really just enjoying it. So I think that's kind of a, a nice quarantine act that he's doing. So now let's go see if he accepts this toilet paper or thinks I'm a crazy person. Hey Rob, I got a question for you. I just saw how you were uh, brightening everyone's day on your uh, neighborhood. I just brought this back from Africa, okay. but since you're giving like everyone such a good time, I was wondering if you'd take an 18 pack of toilet paper. <laughs> you're welcome. So I figured as a, a thank you to Rob, <laughs> we'll give him toilet paper. <laughs> Sweet. Do you know any uh, toilet paper theme songs, Rob? <laughs> uh, actually, it would be, this would be a good time to do it. <laughs> yeah, go with the uh, inspiration. So yeah, this is uh, Woolworth's Finest from oh. South Africa. <laughs> Never thought I'd be gifting anyone toilet paper before. <laughs> Never thought I'd be gifted for it. <laughs> Coronavirus, it is exploding, scarred in Wahoo, China. Hospitals loathing, now more people are dying, no time for loathing. Now, out of all the people I could have picked to give toilet paper to, who could have guessed that he had a Corona toilet paper song already uh, done up in his head? Like, you cannot script that stuff. I hope you guys, unlike some people who are at the airports, realize that it was a joke. But thank you so much for watching, and you can follow along my daily adventure at Michael Makes Films. But thanks again so much for following on this adventure. Here's Rob. The tweets, no pride, the public disgraces. You can bury your head, but don't leave your places. Look after your next door neighbor, but keep your spaces. And you tell me over and over and over and over again, my friend. You don't believe we're on the eve of destruction.